Hi there boys and girls, Brucey here and I'm just doing another quick digital performer video for this time for Marius who has asked a question about is it possible to route audio to a VST instrument in digital performer and yes it, there are a few ways of doing it and let me take you through them all. First off let's just see it in action here I have a, just a loop and I'm routing it through uh, reactor, uh, native instruments reactor. Here it is, bypass. <laughs> Here is the uh, plugin. Let me unbypass it, and we have a filter effect. So the, so the audio is passing through Reactor, which is a virtual instrument. Okay, there is a, another way of looking at this, and let me just drag this loop down here. I've set up Serum, Serum in effects mode, and not only can you route the audio through Serum, so here you go, I've just got some distortion on. If I assign an oscillator here and I go to my MIDI track, I can actually... Sorry, there's a little bit of latency here because it's asking the computer to do quite a lot at the moment with the screen capture on. Um, but yeah, so we're actually playing a MIDI note through, playing the oscillator, and it is processing the audio at the same time. So let me just take you through step by step how you do that. So for the first instance, uh, let me just close that down. All you need to do is just go simply use your way project, add track, pick a mono or stereo audio track, add our track in, go up to your plugins list and just as you would normally do, uh, if I actually select the right track, go here and find the plugin. So I'm going to select a reactor MFX. There we go. Select. So there's my reactor. I just select from one of the various effects and I'm going to pick something uh, let's pick this at random <laughs> randomish now let me just drag that loop down so this should be a reverb I guess slightly strange sounding effect there not had any time to play with that but uh, you get the idea so that's how you would insert your Akai MPC uh, plugin. The other way, let's just try that now. Let me delete this track. Let me show you how I did it via Serum. So the same principle. Uh, we have our audio track. I'm just going to select Serum effects. Yep, so that loads up. Here are my effects. So let's this time just put on a flanger. So I'm processing uh, the drum loop with a flanger. Now I want to add an oscillator, so this is the only difference now. I have to go up here, add a MIDI track. And with my MIDI track, uh, I select the output, but this time I should see Serum come up as an option, and it's going to be the second one there. Insert into MIDI channel A. If I enable an oscillator, yeah, I'm playing, playing the keyboard, and again. So there you go, that's how you can route audio to a VST instrument in Digital Performer. I hope you found that useful. If you have any more questions, please do drop me a line in the box below. Take care and stay safe.